Some special effects coming up here, so get ready. Okay. Uh, before I start, that's the lights with them all on, which is probably what I should have done with filming, but because uh, it looks better on film, it looks pretty shit house live, and I don't think corals will last too long under that sort of intensity, but that's them all on. But I'm going to show you how to set up a simple program. Try and keep this centered and still with dazzling special effects. Could be a lot of editing, uh, Christ, bit of editing going on here, like right now. Again, there'll be some mad editing, mumbling, stumbling. Because I know what I want to do, but I'm doing it all on the fly. So, let's start if we were to, um, to input a schedule. So, go to schedule. All right, these are, that's what mine are unlike now on the ramp down. It's night time here, or getting towards night time. So, they're closing down. Uh, to go to control. That gets you into what the, the program is. Now, I'm just going to delete this and show you how to set up one from scratch. So, everything's off. Try and keep this as still as I can. So, there's a couple of ways you can do it. There's what down they call down in this corner, easy setup. I'll just go for easy setup first. So, easy setup is basically if you don't want to go and put all your own time, time stamps in and just make it pretty simple. You just set, like your sunrise, I'm, this is set, it's, I'm just gonna leave it as it's set, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. and it's got a four hour ramp. Now the four hour ramp means that this is gonna actually go another four hours either side of those sunsets. It'll, what it'll do is it'll now come on at, oh, get it back in film, it'll come back, come on at 8 a.m. and ramp up to 12 p.m. and then from 6 p.m. it'll ramp down to 10 p.m. I hope I got that all right. Come back. Uh, if you want to adjust your ramp time, well, adjust your times, you do it like that. Uh, ramp time, same same way you do it. Um, like I said, there's going to be some mad editing. I've just got to get my mind back to where I want to get. Editing. So that's how you do it if you want to do an easy setup. Now what that means with the ramp up and ramp time, it just goes to your peak. Those, what I've set there is uh, going to be your peak period, which is uh, shown there as six hours. It'll just be on that peak and it ramps up and ramps down. It doesn't change the colour of the light, it just changes the intensity. So if you want to do something fancy like introduce blues um, at night or in the morning, you have to do a manual input, which I think is a better way to do it anyway and I'll show you how to do one of them. Just a dummy run, but I'll show you regardless. So I think this, personally I think this is the better way to do it. You've got more control over it and it's not, not hard at all. Now, as far as time stamps, you have to have one at midnight. There's one that's there when you start. So, for most of us, you'd probably want that set at off. So just check, go by edit, and just check that everything's at zero, which it, that is. So then you go to what time you want to start for it to turn on at the beginning. So you don't want it, not the time that you want the lights at their peak, just when you want the uh, lights to actually start ramping up. Uh, I've just picked a random time, but let's just pretend it's 9am. You'd add a stamp and make sure that they're all at zero too, because like I said, this is when you want to start, not when you want to have lights on. And press done. Uh, then when you want to ramp up, say you want to peak, ramp it up to the first one that probably set is your peak time so say you want your peak to start at midday we're pretending that's midday to know what it is uh, add a stamp and let's turn some colors on I'm just going to do it at random okay done now I just want to show you the second way you can do that and you can do this with all stamps if you want that little emblem there you can press that and that takes you like to the color temperature and uh, intensity screen you can use. This one around the outside controls your color. So that'd be 20,000K full ball. Um, I don't think people go much below 14K, do they? Let's see what 14K full ball looks like. At that and that's sliding it around. But I'm not gonna use that method. For that, but you can for all your time slips you can you can use that method I'll go back to this one so I've just set a dummy 
tie them on. You just go done. So that's me. That's me peak. Say it's not much of a peak, but anyway, that's it. The next best thing is to do your end peak before you start doing your ramps up. So when your peak want to go off, add another stamp. I'll call it. Geez, it's not on very much. I'm just going to random. I must have stuffed up when I was playing with the colour wheel there. I go done. So let's pretend that's a peak and they're all the same. We're just pretending everything's the same. Peak there and it's six hours. Now if you want the blues to extend a bit in the morning, like, let's pretend I turned that on at nine. Um, but I want the blues to be on a bit more prevalent going up to the peak at uh, midday. So you'd add a stamp, let's say I had a stamp, at, uh, turn it on at nine, add, add a stamp at 10, let's pretend. Turn every color off except the blues you want. There, all right, at that point. Which would mean your whites, all the other colors aren't coming on for the first hour. First hour is all blues, and then slowly the other colors come on to the peak. So you sort of get a, it's gonna be very blue for the first hour, then it's gonna be bluer getting closer to the peak colors. And you can do that in reverse when you get to, when you wanna turn off. So that's the end, we're pretending that's the end of the peak, remember? Let's say we're turning everything off at nine o'clock. You go to nine o'clock, I don't even know if that's nine, but it's pretend, pretending here. So everything turns off at uh, nine. We're turning everything off at nine. Everything goes to black. Okay, so we got that. But again, we want to extend our blues a bit. So let's go back to say eight o'clock. And then insert a stamp. And turn off every color except the blues. And go bang. So what that means is, let's pretend that's six o'clock. And that's the end of your peak. Okay, it turns, so from six o'clock to nine o'clock, it's gonna get bluer and bluer your tank. And uh, when it, that's what it turns off, it's gonna just gradually, all your turning off time is gonna be gradually more bluer and bluer. Uh, when it gets to say, if I go up six and I've gone eight o'clock and turned off all my other colors, that's the last hour is just gonna be pure blue. Um, yeah, but the intensity be down. It sort of follows the intensity down, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's say, say at nine o'clock, say you wanted um, a bit of moonlight the last couple of hours. When I was at nine o'clock, instead of turning that everything off, I could have just added a bit of blue, say 3%. We're pretending that's three. We're just playing pretend there, so that's 3%. At nine and then maybe at 11 o'clock, everything goes off, add another stamp, and then turn that, that off and you'll get a bit of moonlight for say a couple of hours before you turn everything off. Now that was just a pretend thing. I hope uh, that made sense, but that's how you would input things manually. I'm gonna edit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go through what do I use at the moment. Now this, I'm gonna try and keep it still so you can look at the colors. Um, this is a Red Sea recommendation. I found it on the, the uh, net, Red Sea, one of the aquariums they ship uh, AO Primes with, or an AI, not the AO Prime, I think it's called the AI Hydra, it's a bit the next size up from this one. Uh, and they've got recommendations, which I found on the web, of what they recommend to be used of that tank. And I'm basically using it, mind you, what they use, what they've got the settings on for that tank, because the lights are a bit bigger, uh, the next size up, they're probably, um, the more intense, uh, I've reduced all of these by uh, down to 70% of what their recommendeds are. If you want to see their actually originals, just type into uh, YouTube AI Prime Red Sea and you'll find a video on it, a guy's using it um, and he's sitting there doing basically the same thing as me, <laughs> maybe a little bit better, but he's showing you what uh, how it's set up for Red Sea, but I'll show you how I'm using it. I, I made a little bit of adjustment so I can get the blues to come in. So. As I showed you, to put timestamps in before, 9 o'clock. Look across the top, you can see all my colours. I hope they're showing up. I'm trying to get the still and everything so you can see them yourself. They're all at zero. Now, the next stamp I would have put in would be midday. And this is the peak. These are what these run out of peak. So you can see across the top. I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't read it off. It's, I think it's 84 UV and V. Royals at 100. The blues at... 82 and the greens and the reds are zero uh, there's not much love for i notice greens and reds in many aquarius tanks using ar primes no one seems to use them and i don't either i prefer the blue and the cool whites at 40 
two. I'm not, don't trust my eyes reading this, I haven't got my glasses on, so if you can see this on the video, trust what you're reading. Okay, now, if I was the, the other, when I showed you before the other way to input the colours, um, you can also see what your colours are set up when you do that, so if I went like that, I can see it's a 20k, it says 100%, but I don't think that's correct reading, it's just what this sort of can read that as. So I've got that, now I've done the, the 9am and the 12am first, but I want to um, have a bit of blue more in the uh, when it's ramping up, so I've got a timestamp at 10 o'clock. And as you can see, I set the, I sort of interrupted and, and set the uh, other colours except for the blues down to zero, which makes it a bit blue when it's ramping up. Um, and so, my the end of my ramp time, which is at 6pm, I start at 9, 10 o'clock is when I've got the blues uh, sorry, the other colours apart from the blues coming on. Middays are at that peak that I've just showed you. You can see the numbers across the top for 6pm. The peak should be exactly the same. I hope you can read them. You can read them all right. Um, and then 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock is when it basically turns off, but I have a bit of a moonlight for two hours, so if I show you that, I would have inputted. I got it at, uh, well, you can see, I think I got two and three or something like that there and they go for a couple hours to 11 o'clock so you know it's just a bit of moonlight but to input to turn off the blues I'm just going to delete this point to show you I'll go back one point to 8 p.m. and delete it you can use that thing to delete it now see now how the white ramps down with the blues you can see the white ramps down from 6 p.m. to 9 with the blues but I didn't want that so I want something there at 8 p.m. I want the lights, the whites to go down a bit earlier to get to turn the tank blue. So I want to add the point and just turn off all the other colours. Turn off everything except what the blue show. And then you can see the whites ramp down before the blue. So basically from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. my tank's slowly turning bluer as it gets later. And from 8 p.m. to 9 it's pretty well straight blue. Um, and it looks good. Well, this is what it's looking like now. It's it's 8 p.m. here in Australia. There you go. So it's just it's just turned the pure blue. That's when every other colour except the blues turn off. I don't know how it's looking on the video, but this is the time of night for the money shots when uh, all your corals pop. So that's the one I'm using, the Red Sea Pro. Uh, sorry, the Red Sea settings for the AI Prime, and they seem my corals these are the ones that they seem to have um, appreciated the most so I'm sticking with them it's basically I've showed you the numbers six hours of peak three hours of ramp up and down on each side and two hours of moonlight before I go to bed and I'm going to edit and I'm going to show you another couple all right what you're looking at there and it's probably going to turn off at the moment because I'm in edit mode and just to try and show you the peak because it's past peak time here so I have to keep on doing this to show you the peak but this is the schedule used by Nano Karen. Her name is N A N O Karen. Um, now, I'm not going to show you the numbers on it, basically because it's her schedule. So if you want to know them, I think I should direct traffic to her site. Go to her. Uh, I just keep on doing this. The show. That's what it looks like on peak. All right, but it keeps on wanting to go on the ramp because I've got it on the schedule. Just type uh, Nano Karen into YouTube and you check on her channel and you'll see she's got a video on her light settings and you can check out her tank which is an equivalent sort of tank to this. I think it's 20 gallons. I don't know what that is in litres. Uh, but it's stunning. So this being the, red, the peak time is you can be confident is a light setting that works going by her tank. Uh, you can have a look at a lot of her videos. Um, She's got a very beautiful tank, so the light light obviously works. Now, you might ask, saying it works, why aren't I using it? And it's just a matter of taste, I guess. Like, um, I prefer it probably a bit more bluer. The Red Sea one's a bit bluer. Uh, for instance, if I just go to edit, she's, that peak time that she just had there is running at um, 16.5K, okay? Uh, the Red Sea one's running at 20,000K, so it's a bit bluer. So, like I said, it's just personal preference, um, but at the same time, hers works, so, uh, yeah, 
the, the, probably the stronger recommendation is to start with hers and if uh, everything's working well maybe you can try the Red Sea one yeah but uh, go to her channel look up her video on it and you'll get her uh, settings how she's done it all and I'll just give you one last look at the color of hers on the peak that's it so Nano Karen Karen N-A-N-O Karen check her side out that's her schedule going for an edit so have a go at this now that's showing up all right this is called the Lord Howe method if you type into YouTube AI Prime Lord Howe you'll find a video on it there's one that's very similar that's named after some bloke no, I can't remember his name I'm just going across the top to try and you probably might have to pause here to see the colors what's going on it's basically every half hour it got peaks and troughs this is supposed to help with uh, respiration I think is the claim I think it's all a bit of a wake myself I'm sure um, probably for your high-end corals like the high-end uh, small polyp stonies I think that's what's more used for uh, you know I've, I tried it and I don't think they liked it to tell the truth so I gave it a dump but anyway it's there for you if you want to go have a look Red Sea I'll go through all the timestamps so you can pause and write them down if you're interested in trying it let's turn on I don't know what times they are my glasses my glasses you can see this better than me but I'm trying to go slow I think these peaks and troughs are about half an hour apart whatever time they uh, go off at so that's the Lord Howe method and I think that's the end of the video I've shown you more one I'm using the Nano Karen method uh, the, this Lord Howe method hopefully I showed you how to uh, do it manually how to do it by easy setup and I hope I help because one thing I know when I bought the AI Prime they come with no fucking instructions and trying to find a good light setting there's no recommendations so you're on your own you can only go on what uh, you either stumble across or you get from someone else and I'd recommend also to keep searching uh, yourself to try see what suits your eye better the color and what works but I will say my Red Sea, or not mine, but the Red Sea one's working for me. The Nano Karen one is proven, so that's a good base to start with if you're having any doubts. That's a good one to start with. And that Lord Howe one, well, I think that's for, uh, I think that's for wankers. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.